Now, I'm sure that everyone will benefit from this video. Now, who doesn't want to lose excessive weight? It may not be fat, but what about water weight? And I will guarantee you that the majority of the world is carrying so many extra pounds of water weight from their poor diet. For example, if you're eating carbs, those carbs get broken down into glucose. Glucose gets assimilated into the cells of our body with insulin. And as we burn that glucose, if we're exercising, that's great. But that accumulation of excess glucose that's running around in our bloodstream or flowing around needs to get stored. So it gets stored as glycogen in the muscle and in the liver. But for every gram of glycogen that gets stored from that glucose, it takes in three to four grams of water. And what about sodium? That's right, salt. Now you're saying, I don't add salt. Well, yes, you do. Because if you're eating canned foods, frozen foods, packaged foods, as well as many other foods, you're going to get sodium no matter if you like it or not. And if you're accumulating too much sodium, that means you're accumulating more fluid, more water with that sodium. And it's gonna get stored throughout our body. And in many of us, it gets stored right in this abdominal area. It's that bloat that you're getting, and you know what I'm talking about. And that fluid also can get stored in our facial area, as well as our ankles, which can carry a significant amount of extra fluid that we're walking around with. And this is where potassium comes into play. Potassium and sodium is like a brother and a sister. And obviously if the sodium levels are normal, the potassium levels like to be normal as well. But if those sodium levels continue to rise and rise and rise, it becomes inversely proportioned to that potassium where it starts to fall and fall and fall. So if we start adding more potassium, like our bananas, avocados, just our fruits and vegetables, as well as many other foods, and we add that potassium back into our body, watch what happens. We inversely start to shift that sodium out of our body. And again, by doing so, you must drink lots of water. The more water you drink, the more sodium gets flushed out of the system. Water works as a diuretic. Don't think that because you're retaining fluid that you're afraid to drink more water that you're going to retain more. No, it works the opposite. And this is for the woman who's known to have premenstrual syndrome, what we call PMS. You're going to retain lots of water. And just by increasing magnesium in your diet, this will help reduce that PMS as well as that bloating and water retention that you're retaining. And there's two great herbs that you can use, dandelion root and hibiscus. Dandelion root is most commonly seen in teas as well as supplements. I like hibiscus tea. It actually tastes wonderful. That will melt that water weight off your body. It will kick in those kidneys to work as a natural diuretic so that water weight can go away. And it's always great to increase your metabolic rate. So do a little more exercise. Aerobic is better. Walking, running, jogging, getting on a treadmill, swimming, playing a sport that you love, start sweating. That will help get rid of excess sodium as well as reduce that water retention as well as your weight. And coffee works as a natural diuretic. So those kidneys can get rid of the extra fluid in your system as that water weight will go down real quick. In that 24 hour period, you need to cut down on those carbs, no processed refined foods. So you have 24 hours. You wanna de-bloat, you wanna get rid of that weight, you wanna look good in your clothes, you wanna feel good, maybe this will be the first start to start losing lots of weight in the future because it will motivate you. You'll see the changes that occur in your body fast. You'll see how beautiful you look or how handsome you are. So let's review a few things. You must drink lots of water. That will really help flush out all those toxins. It will increase peristalsis in the colon. It will get rid of the excessive waste that you're walking around with, which is causing you to have that extra weight and eat lots of foods from the ground, the vegetables and fruits. One of my favorite things is make a vegetable soup, all vegetables. It's delicious, it's detoxifying, it works as a great diuretic, 
all vegetables for one whole day. That's it, nothing else. Nothing artificial, no preservatives, no refined, no processed foods. And all those vegetables are fiber. And that fiber works as a prebiotic. That prebiotic feeds your probiotics and your microbiome within your gut. That will increase your metabolic rate. That will help cleanse your system. That will help excrete those toxins. That will give you lots of energy. And you're going to not only feel good, but you're going to look good. So I hope you find this information helpful. Put it to work. You'll see within 24 hours, you can lose easily three, four, five pounds of extra weight, water weight, toxins that are accumulated in your system. And you're going to see a tremendous change in your stomach, in your body, in your energy. And I hope this is a motivator so you can continue your pathway in the future to lose those extra pounds if you need to. Share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.